What's up guys, Jessica Byers here with Follow Her Arrow. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between a site that I've been running for many seasons now, which is the HHA Kingpin Optimizer, and their latest release that is currently on my bow, which is an HHA Tetra. So right off the bat, I just wanna say you can't really compete with the versatility of a Kingpin Optimizer. However, it may have some features that May, you know, doesn't really, it's not important to you, it doesn't apply to your situation, and therefore you don't need those added costs. First of all, um, when I refer to versatility, I'm, I'm referring to the interchangeable wheels. So if you run different setups with uh, the different game that you're chasing, you may have a lighter arrow for your turkey hunts, and maybe that medium weight for whitetail, and then you go super, super heavy uh, for like a moose or elk hunt. Um, the Kingpin Optimizer allows you to s trade out those wheels for the different speeds of those arrows. With those interchangeable wheels, it allows you to zero out that wheel. So maybe your broadhead drops a little bit, but obviously the speed of your bow didn't change, so you don't change that tape. You just re-zero re out for the broadhead setup. Also with the Kingpin, you have the magnifier option on the wheel, and that does not come with the Tetra. So what are the key differences with the Tetra? What would, what would entice somebody to go that route versus the Kingpin, other than the fact that maybe you didn't need the things I previously mentioned? What sets it apart is it's a lot lower price point, so you're, you're reaching a lot more people. I know that I want to have options for my audience in terms of retail value, and hunting's expensive. It's, it's not a secret. It offers an infinite adjust on that front end. So instead of having set holes to attach that site housing, you have an infinite adjustment. They've recreated the design for the wheel. It allows you to grip it better, especially if you have gloves on. That shape fits your fingers perfectly where you can switch that wheel much quicker. The third thing is that on most horizontal adjustments, you have a micro adjustment. With the Tetra, it also comes with a major or macro windage adjustment system where you can jump in larger increments and then do that micro adjust instead of cranking that micro adjustment for like 20 times to get to where you want to be. So those are the key differences between the two sites. The similarities that I want to go over that, that nothing, you know, they haven't changed between the two sites. One is that it's using the exact same sight tapes. So you have a 20 to 100 yard sight tape whether you get the Kingpin or the Tetra. All accessories will fit both. I'm referring to the Blue Burst Sight Light, the Lens Kit, the Sunshade. Also, as of 2019 at the ATA show, the Tetra also comes in a dovetail too, whereas before only the Kingpin did. So you now can get the dovetail in either of those sites, and both sites are quiver friendly. Long story short, the Tetra is basically a more economic version of the Kingpin. It still has some solid, solid features, and um, you're just hitting that price point that that reaches a lot more of, of the hunters out there. Um, they're both great sites. Like I said, I've, I'm running the Tetra right now. I've run the Kingpin for years. You can't really go wrong with either of those. If there's anything I didn't address in this video between the Tetra and the Kingpin, please reach out to me or comment below and I'll answer it as fast as I can. Again, this is Jessica Byers with Follow Her Arrow. Thank y'all for watching.